Hi, Stark Centeno, and let's talk a little bit about medications before movement-based imaging. Now, movement-based imaging can be something as simple as a cervical flexion extension, x-ray. It can be something as complex as a digital motion x-ray, which is live action motion of your cervical spine usually. It can be an upright MRI of the neck with flexion or extension. Now, obviously, in those movement-based images, we want to get as much movement as possible because there's a relatively high false negative rate when you don't have enough motion, meaning you can have instability present, but because you didn't get enough motion during the film, it doesn't show up. So the goal would be to improve motion. So I would certainly recommend that if you know that when you take a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or Valium-like drug, Xanax, et cetera, or a pain medication, uh, let's say an opioid pain medication or similar, and you have greater range of motion, then you should do that before you get movement-based imaging. Now, be careful here because you can inadvertently move too much and obviously cause a flare-up or a small injury. But at the end of the day, you should maximize motion during movement-based imaging, especially looking for cervical instability or craniocervical instability or CCI. And that may mean taking medications before the procedure to improve your range of motion. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that helps. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.